Can we truly hack the planet? This is not science fiction, but science fact. Welcome to Science One Channel, where science is simplified for everyone. Enter the world of geoengineering, where we explore innovative solutions to combat climate change. Have you ever seen those sci-fi movies where they control the weather? Well, in reality, we're looking at strategies to reflect sunlight back into space or to capture and store carbon dioxide. That's geoengineering in a nutshell. The first method is solar radiation management. By injecting aerosols into the stratosphere, we can reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth. These tiny particles would act like a sunshade, decreasing global warming. The second method, carbon dioxide removal, aims to capture and store the main culprit behind climate change, carbon dioxide. This can be achieved using technologies like direct air capture, carbon mineralization, or even by enhancing natural processes such as forest growth. But geoengineering is not without controversy. Critics argue that these technologies could have unforeseen side effects, like disrupting weather patterns or affecting crop yields. The ethical implications of controlling the climate are also a hot topic of debate. Proponents, however, argue that the potential benefits outweigh the risks. They believe that with rigorous testing and international regulation, we could utilize these technologies to supplement efforts in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So the question remains, can we or should we hack the planet? As we strive to better understand and address climate change, geoengineering presents both a promise and a dilemma. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, Science One, where we simplify science for everyone. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and together, let's unlock the wonders of our universe, one video at a time.